Alright, so this is a tutorial for changing the hot colors and fonts in Half-Life 2. I will be using ghosting mode in this tutorial, but it will work in source on back as well. So let's go ahead and uh, unpack the ghosting mode. And then restart Steam. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the resource folder and um, open Clench Scheme with Notepad or Notepad++ and here you can see all the colors first and on the bottom you can see all the fonts uh, each different section changes something in the uh, game but I will show only how to change everything at once but you can uh, test yourself um, what each section does and also uh, all the colors are in RGBA which stands for red, green, blue and alpha. Alpha means uh, how transparent the um, color is. You can use uh, websites like name that color um uh, to see the R RGBA values of the colors you want to use. So um for example you see this 255 and 220. Um also there's uh, better websites for this uh, so you can use programs to see the colors, for example, just paint 255 and 220. It's uh, pretty much yellow, as you can see. So this is the main hot color, for example, that is used for ammo and uh, displaying sprints and such held and uh, red is the darker one like when you get damage and stuff but um most likely you want to change just the uh, yellow colors so I will be using my favorite color for this, just lavender purple. So you want to have the RGBA value of your color, so one minus 155. Let me use an under notepad. 155, 1, 2, 3, 182. And then finally the uh, a volume but um I won't be changed it changing it hold on okay so you want to uh, take the color and replace it but it's much faster if you um, replace everything at once so you press ctrl H and find what is the 255, 220 and 0 and replace with the color you want 
just press replace all. But I can pull here Half Life 1 style hot colors. It's slightly different. You can modify it to something else, but I'm just gonna use um, the same one for everything. Uh, you cannot uh, change everything, especially the transparency, uh, for example disabling white flashes and stuff um, because uh, that's giving you an advantage over other runners, so you shouldn't do that. Now we just save it and close. And uh, for the fonts, you scroll down. And as you can see, um, it's easy as uh, replacing the name if you, uh, if you are using other Windows fonts. So for example, I can replace every Verdano with, for example, Candero Light. So we do the same thing as we did with the corner. So find what? Candora. Replace with. Sorry. <laughs> I'm brain dead. Verdano. With Candora. What? Replace all. I will keep all the courier new and stuff. The same. And aerial. You can actually cost customize all the weapon icons and stuff, but uh, that will mean changing, uh, like making your own font. So that's more difficult. This won't change all the colors. You have to go back uh, to the uh, main folder and uh, go ahead and do scripts. And um, it's this text file called hot animations. And as you can see, here are small colors. It's, it's the same 255 and 220. So you can use the, the same code here and replace with this. And done. There we go. I guess I did something wrong. I guess just uh, copy it like that. Alright. Now it worked. Um, and as you can if you remember, You can check colors here. So that's that's orange. Oh, there's a lot of them. So I will be replacing it like this again. Also, if you are unsure that if you will screw something up, you can make uh, backup, backups of the text files and stuff and just renaming the, them to something else. And go ahead and save it. Now let's see in... Let's open the game. And see if everything worked like so. I don't have any saves now, so I think I see everything is short this. Rise. 
as it should. In costing mode, if you replace the hot colors, everything uh, UPS, UPS, and um, a timer will uh, will be colored automatically. So let's go to a map that has everything. Like we have shoot and all. And as you can see, everything is um, replaced. And also, I have the different foam dash here. So, there's one more thing I will be showing. So, if you want to use a foam that is not in, in Windows installed, or you want to uh, get a brand new font. I will be showing it now. Oh yeah, also, you can uh, replace um, uh, the titles that I will show uh, every time you go to a chapter in one of these folders, I mean text files. Here you can see point insertion and stuff. But for some reason in ghosting mode there's like mm, a lot of different languages that they are just like this. So it will be easier to go to scripts and search for titles. And as you can see here, uh, it's saying for example hashtag alpha choose chapter title. You can just replace it. For example, this is train station. And uh, if you go to new game and just uh, go through them, you can see which one every each one is. So this is Red Letter Day and this is Road, Road Canal and stuff. So you can replace them with uh, anything you want. So back to the fonts. So what I like to use is a uh, website called dafonts.com. You can use a, uh, any website to download um, fonts where you want, but this is what I like to use. So I don't know how this will look like, but I will be testing it. So you just press download here and then um, You paste the um, um, full chip file or the font you have and extract it to, uh, to the resource folder. So, and now you press preview and see what the font name is because uh, this, this is only the file name, this is the font name. So, it seems to be just the same switch system. So we go to client scheme again and we find kind of light and replace it with switch system. Replace all. Go ahead, save it and open the game. Let's use point insertion again because we will be showing the custom chapter name as well. As you can see, it's in train station with small caps. And um, now this is the custom font I have. For some reason, in squad following, you cannot change the color, or I haven't found a way to do that. 
But um, it only chances the last person's color. I don't know. 